Today's question comes from Robert in Alabama. I'm a couple of years into a middle management position in a tech field at a Fortune 100 company. I dislike the politics and endless meanings of management and miss being able to work on solving technical mm-hmm. issues. My salary didn't change much when I moved into this new role. How do I talk to my bosses about stepping back into my non-management position, and is this even a good idea? Happens a lot with yeah. tech. All the time, and first of all, it is a good idea that you realize, hey, I don't want to be in a leadership role. I want to solve technical problems. That's really key. Uh, So then it's just a function of being clear, sitting down with your leaders and going, hey, uh, I'm grateful for this opportunity to be promoted. Uh, Here's the deal. Uh, It's not for me. I'm not cut out for it. It's not you guys. It's me. Uh, It's not my jam. What I do love more than anything, and I now realize it, is just being in the trenches, getting my hands dirty, solving technical problems. But I know that I took this. Is there a way that we can smoothly move me back into that role? Uh, I'd be grateful. I think that's your approach. It's about posture, and it's about just owning the fact that, hey, uh, you took a promotion, which is the normal human thing to do, but it's not the best fit for you. Yeah, and the weird thing is you might actually make more money as a maker. That's, that's exactly um, right. People that are in the make that are makers, they're creatives, they're tech, uh, coders, writers, architects, um, uh, salespeople. Uh, it's not unusual at all in business for us uh, in leadership to do the exact wrong thing, and that is because they're good at their discipline, we think that means they should be a leader. And leadership is a separate discipline. Yes. It's a different kind of thing. And you, not everyone has to aspire to be in leadership to make a great income, to have a very fulfilling career, to, uh, to, to, to win. So the first time I ever saw this, my, my parents owned a real estate company when I was growing up. And real estate, residential real estate is the world's worst at it. They, as soon as somebody starts selling a bunch, they make them sales manager. Mm-hmm. And it's a completely different set of skills to be sales manager than to be a salesman. You know, selling houses is different than managing people who sell houses. It really is. Now, you need to know some of the technical things to be able to lead well, and that's in your given space. But um, there, there are a lot of uh, residential real estate agents that sell houses that make a lot more than their manager makes. Yeah, and, and so if we just look at what we love to do. So we teach this here at Ramsey Solutions. Talent is what you do best. Passion is work you love. Here's the reality. Leadership is work. It is a form. It is a function. It is a skill, as Dave said as well. And so if you don't love leading people and serving people, there's no shame in that. But Dave, as you know, getting promoted, which is stage five of the seven stages to doing work you love, is getting promoted and many times as you win, people will go, oh, well, we're going to put you in management. Make sure that you talk to other people who lead. Do a little homework and go, hey, what do you love most about leading? What do you like least about it? And and really soak in it and make sure that it is something that you will really want to do because, you know, it is one of the most difficult things in the world to do um, because it is involving humans. And we humans uh, can be great and we humans <laughs> can be awful. Business is great until people get involved. <laughs>